that didn't end well because you don't have to be a music teacher or a professional musician to hear the difference between being in tune and beautiful music and being out of tune or ugh, cringeworthy. So uh, this lesson is about listening because if you're a better listener, you're gonna be a better musician and a better human. It's so easy for us to get wrapped up in our screens and when we're paying attention to a screen, we're not always listening to people around us when they talk to us. Makes, us, um, makes it harder to be a good listener. But good musicians have to be constantly listening to themselves and the music or the other musicians around them to see if they're matching and making beautiful music or if it needs a little adjustment. So becoming better listeners will help you become a better musician and it'll also help you become better at a lot of things in life. Like when we talk to people, if we really listen to what they're saying, we're better communicators. When your parents are driving, and they're listening to sounds around them on the highway, like maybe a siren coming up, they can respond better and be a better and safer driver. Uh, when you're walking on the sidewalk or you're going across the street, you use your ears to help you know if a car is coming. It helps you pay attention while you're out and keeps, helps keep you safe. And when you're in nature, if you're listening, it helps make your experience out of nature that much better. You can hear the wind in the trees or the water that's coming up in our rising river right now or the birds or the animals around you or insects. So this assignment this week is going to help you become a better listener. And I started my morning bright and early by going out to make you a couple videos of things that I can hear in my yard early in the morning. <laughs> So you don't have to send me a video of sounds in your yard, but here's your assignment. You are going to get a paper or something to write with or write on and something to draw with, pencils, crayons, whatever. Then go outside, but be sure and ask a grown-up first or tell them what you're doing so they won't be wondering where you disappeared to. You can choose to walk around. Maybe you can take a walk down your street if that's okay with your parents, or you can sit in one spot. Then. Listen to the sounds around you for at least five minutes. You can stay longer if you want, but give it a good five minutes because you'll start to notice more sounds as you sit there. And when you hear something, try to identify where that sound came from. If it's a bird, try to locate which bird it is. Or if it's cars, try to notice, is it a car or a big truck? What kind of thing is it that's creating the sound you hear? And then when you're finished with your five minutes or more of listening, uh, write a list or as you're sitting there you can write your list or draw pictures of what you're hearing and then when you're ready come on inside and log back into Flipgrid so you can make a video for me. Now as you begin your video remember to start with these three things a nice greeting, tell me your name first and last name and tell me your teacher's name and for this video Show me the writing or drawing that you did and tell me about what you heard. Especially if you heard something unusual or surprising or something beautiful, whatever you heard, give me details, tell me about it, and I'll see you there. And be sure to check back later in the week because I'll leave you a video in reply. So that's the only part for Flipgrid, but I want you to continue this practice all week. Try to be a good listener. Sing and listen to your beautiful singing voice. Um, put your screen down. When someone talks to you, look up, give them eye contact, nod. Remember a slant in my classroom? Good listeners, they, they sit up and they lean in or they really pay attention to the person. And L is for listening. A means, what was A? What fell A? Oh, they ask questions. Respond to the person you're talking to. And N stands for nod because you're listening to that person or you can do other 
body language, like, oh yeah, I get it. Mm -hmm. And T means track with your eyes. That's the part about eye contact. So put your screen down and talk to people in your family and then listen to what they have to say also. And finally, go outside a lot. Listen to the sounds around you. See if your neighborhood becomes any different when you're really listening to that. And remember, you don't just have to do this for music this week. I hope you have music in your life every single day. And fourth graders, you can go to my YouTube channel, just click the link below, and you'll find all sorts of videos just for you. Like, um, I'd say for you guys, start with that playlist called Spring 2020 Fourth Grade. And if you haven't already done so, check out the beginning recorder videos that I've put up there. Um, if I need to be putting more up, let me know. I can make more, but um, at least get started on those first few if you can. Also, if you did not get a recorder the last day of school, um, I handed out recorders and everyone took them home, but if you did not get one, please tell me in your video and I will get you one um, next week in your packet. Thanks. I miss you guys. Mwah.